question is with, about the tour of the riders, how effective it is to have a rider for you, you know, like I said, we, we originally went, we went out last time with the idea of let's put together a rider, you know, but can you force a rider to a, on a club owner on, on a Wednesday night, again, you have four people there, and you know, there's, uh, you know, can't put them in, you know, like, and I'm just wondering how beneficial to have that, or, you know, who's recommend. It's good, but make, yeah, it make it short and simple. Short and simple. This you know, is the most phenomenal thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, we're done here. I get, sh get, get, get sharpie shipments every week by UPS. <laughs> <laughs> that is no joke. <laughs> and, but you know, uh, Steve Morris, I know you know, Steve Morris, the Dixie Dregs, had many times in the club. He liked a one page writer. He goes, you know, we want some water, we want some beer, we want some tea. Um, if you can have a couple of guys help us load, and I said, and it says your professionalism knows that, you know, if you want to give us more to drink, um, we'd be happy to have it. And those are the kind of people you want to, whatever you want. Because right. they don't ask for a lot. No, they, right. you know, they, don't make, they don't make it a big deal of, right. of eating four times in a six hour period. Right. Well, I've seen more, I guess, right, but I was just, uh, as far as the gear or anything like that, you know, something that would be good to. to uh, for a, a sound or lights or for, for that, that sort of, of stuff, you know, especially incorporating this as far as, you know, we're really thinking of, well, as an example, you know, that was sort of a visual presentation along. That sort of stuff. I guess you have to kind of silly question because you have to gauge it where you go. And some of it is what what are you what are you taking with you? I mean, right. if, if, you know, I'm John Paul in a situation where he showed up and he's lucky if they had one circuit breaker in the club. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, at the same time, if you're going to apply some visual gear, you just want to make sure that they got appropriate power. Right. State, right. What's the stage depth? What's the stage height? Right. Where do you load in? Where do you load right. out? Yeah. Logistics yeah. of the club is good to know. because the last thing you want to do is show up and have. I'm sure you've shown yeah. a few times it's been a disaster. Yeah, well, I mean, for the most part, we never had that. I've never had that many requirements in that regard, but it, I would err on the side of being self-sustaining and just have your own stuff. Right. There's a club in uh, New York City called Le Poisson Rouge that um, yeah. told me um, they're the ones that have this 20 page contract thing and all these rules and they said you can't bring in your own lights, you can't bring in this and that. And I thought, wow, you know, they just don't want to deal with this or maybe they don't have the power. Well, I showed up this place, like, have, you know, you walk in, there's like this you know, 20 foot tank with a shark in it. Right. They have, this guy comes up, I'm setting my drums up and he, this guy comes on stage and he's like, so uh, how much fog do you need tonight and what kind of lights? And I was like, are you kidding me? Straight. No. <laughs> so, but so it's like you just you have to base it on the club. But you know you can't expect every place to have that kind of setup either. You have to uh, have your own stuff. You know, for, again, so it's like exactly how you want it to be. You know, don't don't make the, the France mistake. But, but you know, within reason, have have something that's going to kind of put across what you want to put across. Peter, how many bands have come up by you that, you know, that are from outside of the Milwaukee area? Is it everything pretty much a contract with you and? Yeah. Um, or do you just simply just some, some, deals some percentage just email confirmation these days. I mean, it's you know, and some are just simple contracts. We just change things. I mean, um, and you know, we have a simple contract for local bands. You know, don't post during telephone calls. Everyone's got to be twenty-one. You know, no illegal drugs. You know, just very very simple things to tell people. Um, that you would think would be basic, but after a while we read a contract because it wasn't basic. It's like, you know, well, oh, she's not 21, but can she sell merch? Uh, no, that's, that's not going to cut it. You know, I'm not, you know, I mean, if that happened, we'd have 80 people selling, you know, 20 year olds selling t shirts every night and tied to, you know, to a judge. But, you know, they're selling t shirts, judge. They're part of the show. You know, it's like, um, you know, yeah, so, um, but you also, too, wherever you get to a club, if things aren't perfect, just deal with it. You know, get there. Don't get mad, just deal with it. I mean, if four channels go out with a tap a keg of beer, I mean, that's life. But you just have to, you know. Yeah, you, you missed that one. I, uh, okay. I, but, um, I mean, I mean still, I mean, as a band member, you still can be someone. You can be disappointed, be, but you still want to put a good show on for the people that are there. Be some diplomacy, too. I mean, yeah. you kind of mentioned the, the, the channels go out when you pull the keg. Right. You can. You can, can if, if the guy can say, yeah, that's the way it is here. Or, you know, and sometimes. You leave it there, yeah, right? Yeah. You don't go back. You know, when you, <laughs> yeah, right, you don't go back. You, when you get the sound system from Abe Lincoln's inauguration, you know, well, this may not go too well, you know. Still got the blood stains on the cabinet, but, you know, so, you know it might not be the highest quality sound, but you just sort of live with it.